Good afternoon everyone. Today we'll be demonstrating PFU HD. PFU stands for Pixel Aligned Implicit Function. It converts 2D images to a 3D object. It is highly effective implicit representation that locally aligns pixels of 2D images to a 3D object. PFU can produce high resolution surfaces including largely unseen regions such as the back of the person. So let's get started. Before starting we have to change the runtime and we are changing it to GPU or we can change it to TPU as well but we'll be choosing GPU based on our preferences. Import IPython by clicking here. We'll see one minute presentation of this PFU HD. We can watch it on YouTube and five minute presentation is also visible on YouTube. The requirements for this PFU HD are Python 3, PyTorch, tested on 1.4.0, JSON PIL, SkyImage, TQDM, NumPy, CV2. Then import IPython, IPython display.html. With the help of this command, we can see photo to 3D mesh in Blender and it is also available on YouTube. We have to clone PFU HD repository by clicking this command. The PFU HD repository will be cloned here. As we can see, it had made a folder PFU HD under which many subfolders are saved: apps, checkpoints, data, library, results, sample images, scripts, etc., etc. Then we have to configure input data. Inside PFU HD, we have some sample images that was inbuilt. We can add our own custom image here. Let's download it from Google. Let's download one image from here. We can click any image. It can be sa standing, sitting. It's your own choice. So. I'll be choosing this image. Okay. Run this command. Remember only PNG and JPEG files are supported. Click here we are done after that import OS try image path content PFU HD sample images under sample images our image will be saved content PFU HD our custom image will be saved inside sample image then accept image path content PFU HD sample here they have written test PNG but we will be giving our own image that is saved under sample images um, mail jpg and the result will be stored here pfu hd result pfu hd final reconstruction result and click here we are done click another command then comes the process of pre-process for cropping the image we have to clone another library. We have cloned it here. Lightweight human pose estimation PyTorch. It's given here. It is a folder and it does contain sub subfolders inside it. You can see. Then we have CD content lightweight human pose estimation PyTorch. We'll run this command. After that, we'll be running training extension model human pose estimation checkpoint with the help of this command we'll get checkpoints for our image for our custom image that we have stored we can see this command it's running successfully then we'll be importing some important libraries import torch import cv2 as mentioned earlier in the requirements import numpy as np from models dot with model net import pose estimation with mobile net 
from modules dot key points import extract key points group key points from modules dot load state import load state from modules dot pose import pose track poses and import demo we'll be running these commands then comes net is equal to pose estimation with mobile net and here a checkpoint is also given then we have to download the pre-trained model as we can see scripts download inside p4ht we have this script and inside script we have download train model file we have to run this this is predefined model It'll take time it will contain the checkpoint for our image p4ht.pt1 It'll take time. Yes. Eighty six percent, as we can see, ninety five and hundred, and we are done with this. Then we'll run p HD. All images with the corresponding rectangle files under this will be processed. Simple test file is available inside apps. We can see simple test.py and we have to run this command. It will take time. And we are done with this command it has downloaded our file here inside sample images we had the original picture and by running this command we have mail dot rectangle txt okay and this is the original image and inside result we have one more folder p4 ht final then reconstruction and we have our this file mail file let's click here and we can see this is the mail that we downloaded and we can see another image of him that p HD has made let's open it in 3D view and that object file we can put here and we can see this is the 3D object of the image as we can see the type of image that was giving, given there we have uploaded it and it seems like this coming back this is the rendered result if we want to use video for this particular image we can do so by clicking some or downloading some important libraries like pip install pytorch 3d and here we can see some commands are given so that our 2d image video can be converted into 3d object so we are done with this thank you